now going in to see the reclining Buddha. Look at the entrance, it's beautiful. plaster around it and then covered in, in gold leaves. It is beautiful. If you come to Thailand, be sure to check him out. It's the biggest reclining Buddha uh, in all of Thailand. This is a very comfortable temple, temperature-wise. You have to take off your shoes so you're walking with your bare feet on these really nice tile floors. <laughs> and the breeze is coming through because there was windows everywhere. We were just talking about yesterday when we were eating what they use the half, um, half bath for. And apparently they donate it when they go and visit the Buddha. So that's what you use it for. Because we were talking you can't buy anything for that small amount of money. The Buddha's hair reminds me of the 90s hairstyle where you had to spike your hair if you had short hair. Wat Phu is referred to as Thailand's first university. The King Rama III saw that all the traditional Thai medicine and Thai massages were disappearing. So he built this school to train and educate people. And they still have a Thai massage school here today, so I guess he succeeded. Maybe this guy invented the selfie stick. A lot of action here. This guy is singing to this guy, I think. And this guy is angry because the elephant took his foot. These big uh, granite sculptures were actually dumped in the harbor by Chinese merchant ships. The Thai people, they fished it out and they reused it all over the place. It's very creative. One is Marco Polo and another one is a Chinese uh, opera singer. Take that, China. We walked in here, we're like, what's in here? And then they have like 20 Buddha statues. Awesome. They all have those that spiky hair. Buddha's here, it's crazy. There's maybe 50 just in this building alone. Maybe 100? Maybe 100, I have no idea. I guess even monks go sightseeing. Okay, new Buddha count. I think that just in this one building, in the whole courtyard, I think they have at least 500 Buddhas. But I'm getting really curious, so I have to look it up somewhere now. <laughs> All of these beautiful mosaics are actually made from China, the Chinese merchant ships. They dumped them here because they needed their ships to be lighter. So the Thai people, they reused them on all of their temples. I think that qualifies as the biggest upcycling project in the early 19th century. 